Rule 40, Appeal from Municipal Trial Courts to the Regional Trial Courts, Section 1, Where to Appeal. An appeal from a judgment or final order of a municipal trial court may be taken to the regional trial court exercising jurisdiction over the area to which the former pertains. The title of the case shall remain as it was in the court of origin, but the party appealing the case shall be further referred to as the appellant and the adverse party as the appellee. Section 2, when to appeal. An appeal may be taken within 15 days after notice to the appellant of the judgment or final order appealed from. Where a record on appeal is required, the appellant shall file a notice of appeal and a record on appeal within 30 days after notice of the judgment or final order. The period of appeal shall be interrupted by a timely motion for new trial or reconsideration, no motion for extension of Time to file a motion for new trial or reconsideration shall be allowed. Section 3, How to Appeal. The appeal is taken by filing a notice of appeal with the court that rendered the judgment or final order appealed from. The notice of appeal shall indicate the parties to the appeal, the judgment or final order or part thereof appealed from, and state the material dates showing the timelines of the appeal. A record on appeal shall be required only in special proceedings and in other cases of multiple or separate appeals. The form and contents of the record on appeal shall be provided in Section 6, Rule 41. Copies of the notice of appeal and the record on appeal where required shall be served on the adverse party. Section 4, Perfection of Appeal, Effect Thereof. The perfection of the appeal and the effect thereof shall be governed by the provisions of Section 9, Rule 41. Section 5, Appellate Court Ducket and Other Lawful Fees. Within the period for taking an appeal, the appellant shall pay to the clerk of court which rendered the judgment or final order appealed from the full amount of the appellate court ducat and other lawful fees. Proof of payment thereof shall be transmitted to the appellate court together with the original record or the record on appeal as the case may be. Duty of the Clerk of Court, Section 6. Within 15 days from the perfection of the appeal, the Clerk of Court or the Branch Clerk of Court of the Lower Court shall transmit the original record or the record on appeal, together with the transcripts and exhibits which he shall certify as complete to the proper regional trial court. A copy of this letter of transmittal of the records to the appellate court shall be furnished to the parties. Section 7. Procedure in the Regional Trial Court. A. Upon receipt of the complete record or the record and appeal, the clerk of court of the Regional Trial Court shall notify the parties of such fact. B. Within 15 days from such notice, it shall be the duty of the appellant to submit a memorandum which shall briefly discuss the errors imputed to the lower court, a copy of which shall be furnished by him to the adverse party. Within 15 days from receipt of the appellant's memorandum, the appellee may file his memorandum. Failure of the appellant to file a memorandum shall be a ground for dismissal of the appeal. C. Upon the filing of the memorandum of the appellee or the expiration of the period to do so, the case shall be considered submitted for decision. The regional trial court shall decide the case on the basis of the entire record of the proceedings had in the court of origin and such memoranda as are filed. Section 8. Appeal from orders dismissing case without trial, lack of jurisdiction. If an appeal is taken from an order of the lower court dismissing the case without a trial on the merits, the regional trial court may affirm or reverse it as the case may be. In case of affirmance, and the ground of dismissal is lack of jurisdiction over the subject matter, the RTC, if it has jurisdiction thereover, shall try the case on the merits as if the case was originally filed with it. In case of reversal, the case shall be remanded for further proceedings. If the case was tried on the merits by the lower court without jurisdiction over the subject matter, the RTC on appeal shall not dismiss the case if it has original jurisdiction thereof but shall decide the case in accordance with the preceding section without prejudice to the admission of amended pleadings and additional evidence in the interest of justice. Section 9, Applicability of Rule 41. The other provisions of Rule 41 shall apply to appeals provided for herein insofar as they are not inconsistent with or may serve to supplement the provisions of this rule. 